During the scorching heat of May and June, the fan brings relief to everyone, whether in a poor man's hut or a rich man's palace. But do you know how this simple fan is made in a factory? If not, join me as I take you through the fascinating process of manufacturing the humble fan that comforts us all in the sweltering heat. Let's get started. The first step in making a fan is preparing its motor. Paper is carefully inserted into the stamping, like hearts caught in love. Each sheet is perfectly fitted before the coil is made. A long copper wire is wound around a perforated, inverted bucket-like mold on a coil machine, transforming it into a neatly shaped coil. This coil becomes the heart of the fan's motor. With the coil ready, it's time to assemble the motor. The stamping is placed on an iron ring, and the coil is carefully fitted between the paper layers on both sides. The wire ends are pulled out and kept separate. Now the motor is complete with its perfectly placed coil. The coil is secured with paper tape on both sides before being tightly stitched to keep every copper wire in place. The exposed wire ends are threaded through a thin protective pipe to prevent rust. These wires are then connected, blue for main power, red for reverse rotation, and black for smooth operation, completing the motor's electrical setup. The wires are neatly stitched and fitted inside the machine, which then uses a hand press to shape the motor evenly. After shaping, a final check ensures the motor runs smoothly and functions correctly. Next, the motor is coated with lacquer to protect it from rust and ensure durability. After drying for two hours, a metal ring is pressed onto the motor using a hand-operated machine, securing everything firmly in place. The motor is then machine-pressed to flatten its inner surface. Next, it's fitted into the iron frame, first threading the power and switch wires through, then hammering the frame shut to secure everything in place. A fiber washer is inserted inside before the motor is sealed shut on both sides and secured with tightened screws, completing the final assembly. Now, the motor is ready for action. Now, the capacitor, the heart of the fan's operation, is installed. The wires are carefully connected and insulated to prevent overheating. After securing the capacitor inside its protective cap, it's wrapped with circuit tape for safety. With this final step, the motor assembly is complete and ready to power the fan. You'll notice this universal motor frame works for all fans, ceiling, table, or cooler models. Here, our technician demonstrates table fan assembly. He fits the motor into the frame and securely fastens the base from all sides. This standardized design ensures consistent performance across different fan types. The final step is attaching the fan blades. The plastic blade is mounted onto the motor shaft after securing the motor cap. Just like ceiling fans, this table fan relies on the same motor design. Once properly fitted, the blade spins smoothly when powered. With this, our fan is fully assembled and ready to cool. How did you like watching the process of making this heat-relieving fan? Let me know. I'll see you in the next video.